Episode 229 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where I am still over my sickness, uh, but still wearing my glasses because we're recording two episodes in one day. Yes. 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 Uh, I am Yuzu Watanabe. I'm gonna, and I'm going to take your lunch money. Yeah. Pshh. I'm going to take your lunch money, dork. Pshh. You don't know. You don't know me, man. There's some there's some badass kung fu behind this shit. Well, when you take the glasses off, you become Superman. And I can't see shit. I'd be like, <laughs> come on, I'm just like slapping you in the side come of the head. <laughs> Um, oh boy, I'm blind. Okay. So I'm Tobin Kozire, and this week we are talking about Crisis 2, the Nintendo 3DS, which you now have one of, right. and I do not, uh, Ghost Recon Shadow Wars on the 3DS, Third Birthday on the PSP, and Might Magic Clash of Heroes on PlayStation and Xbox 360. That's right. New game, kinda. Sort yes. Of. Uh, and our new releases include not very much. Mortar Storm of Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yes. Apocalypse. Uh, and Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I have dreams with packs of lips. Do you do packs of lips? Mm. Mick Jagger. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? Angelina Jolie. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, Thanks for going to back to women's <laughs> lips. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you think lips, like, there aren't that many big lips <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead. Tell me more about Mick Jagger's lips. This is a good story. Okay. I like this. And Call of Duty Black Ops Escalation Map Pack. Seriously, that's all we got to talk about. That and big lips. Yeah. That, and, and apparently we could spend a lot of time talking about big lips since that's your, that's your fetish. <coughs> Steven yes. Tyler's big lips. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I forgot about his big lips. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is this is some weak shit. I know. This is some weak shit. I know. But let's get started with at least we have a big game, Crisis 2. Yes. Crisis 2. Do, 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 do. Whoosh. Stealth. Oh. Stealth. Whoosh. Where'd it go? Where'd my wine go? Yes. Mm. So Crisis 2. Uh, Crisis 2. So this is a game I was actually not looking forward to because yes. of uh, the reception of Crisis 1. Right. Um... What they do with this one? <laughs> so, I mean, I, all I know is that that their 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 one of their biggest focuses was to take the Cry Engine and make it more accessible. Like they didn't want to be the the system punisher anymore. They wanted to say, you know, we're we've got the talent to make our system scale such that if you've got a big fuck you machine, yes, it's going to look like sex on toast. But it'll still look pretty awesome yeah. on a six hundred dollar PC. Yeah, down here it might look like fat chick on toast, but it's still a chick. Still pretty hot. I mean, come yeah, on. I mean, shaved at least. Right, right. right. I mean, you know, um, but better yeah. than no chick on toast. <laughs> but um, they also did uh, a big push to make it multi-platform. Yes. So now you have it on PC, PS3, Xbox. I don't think it's on DS or any of those ones. No. Or Wii. Yeah. Thankfully. Uh, Crisis on Wii. Oh God. That would be fucked that up. That would be hilarious. Uh, so, so you know, they did a lot to that. Um, honestly, like I think one of the biggest. Um, uh, um, you know, like kind of issues I have with the cry crisis games is that they have a lot of people working on the engine, but not enough people working on the game. Right. Right. Like the game of what are the rules? What are you trying to do? What are you actually having fun at? Like, yeah. and uh, I think they fixed a lot of the issues we have in terms of like switching your, your suit and uh -huh. doing all this other random stuff. And it still looks really nice. It does. It does look, it stuff. does look really, really, really beautiful. Like it's, it's got, you know, it's obviously just technically, very, very proficient. Uh, one thing that, that actually bothered me a little bit is that mm -hmm. it was very busy visually. Like, it was yeah. one of those things where Lots of stuff going on. I felt like enemies didn't necessarily pop the way they do in some other games, where it's just, like, I would look and there'd be, <laughs> there'd be kind of, you know, camera effects, yeah. and there'd be, like, all this blur from vegetation and shit in the street, and, stuff. you know, yeah. all this stuff. And there's other games where it's just, like, I kind of like to survey and see what my objectives are. Like, if you... Interesting. If you, you want to see somebody pop up. That's yeah, I want to see basically. a thing that... that, that and it, really in this, weird. a lot of it was just kind of, like... Well, they added billions of particles to this yeah. game. I mean, seriously, the engine of this is stellar. It's, it's, you're not going to find very many much better-looking games than this. Right. Um, but, like, to me, it was, it was weird because it almost was more realistic. And I actually liked it more. Yeah. Because uh, for me, like, I played this multiplayer beta, not into it at all. I hated it. Right. Didn't like a lot of the style. So I wasn't interested in that at all. I played single player. I'm like, eh, you know, mm, they do that suit shit, you know, do this other stuff. But for me, it's just like, I really felt immersed for yeah. once. Where I'm all of a sudden in here. There's a bunch of guys around. I'm going to do stealth. I'm, actually, first thing I'm going to do is put on my binoculars. That was a big thing. Right, yeah, do the visor and yeah. look, look, survey the, and like, you're like, oh, there's a, there's a checkpoint over here. Yep. I can tag this enemy yes. and then, you know, decide what to do over here. 
Um, you can say, okay, ammo's over here in case I run out. Right. So the whole the whole idea, and I think they they brought it back back to the, what Far Cry used to be. What I liked about Far Cry, where the whole idea about Far Cry is like it's seriously open world. You see a base camp, a bunch of guys, and you have to kind of plan your way around it. Right. Uh, and they really like they did have a bit in, in in Crisis, but not to any level I cared about. For this one, like, okay, here, tag, 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 go over here, stealth. Mm. You yeah, know, go over here, shoot, shoot, shoot. Like, and and you do very quickly realize that that run and gun is not what they intended. Like, you know, no. if if you kind of attack attack this like a normal shooter, yeah. uh, you know, you'll run in, and there will be seven other dudes that you couldn't see, like just like kind of all kind of running from from everywhere. Even if you do the strength suit, mm-hmm. you know, they you'll last maybe two seconds longer. Right. I mean, they they clearly seem to be uh, focused on you taking it phase by phase, and yeah. doing it nice and slow. And it feels like it almost... I mean, again, I haven't played that much, but it feels like they're really emphasizing the stealth aspect. Yes, for sure. Because like you're saying, like I go around the corner, I go blam, 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 I die. And I'm like, okay, I do that three times. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do something different. Right. Uh, and part of it is stealth, waiting for people to walk you know, around, you right. know, doing all this various stuff. And then going up and doing the, yeah. the <coughs> neck snap. Yeah. yeah. And then somebody would see you do it, and that's when you shoot, but at least you took, took them down. Right. Time. You got their right. buddy. Um, so, so to me, like, I actually really enjoyed the single player. Uh, yeah. You know, I can't really go into that much detail about why, but it really felt immersive. Um, they really did a good job about doing the, the, the whole storyline of them talking and then going to gameplay and doing all that flow where you kind of see some of the games today. It's just like cutscene play, cutscene right. play. Metal um, Gear. Yeah. That's cut <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, you said, yeah, I was going to say, wait, except for the play part. You yes. said play, so that there, there most, a, that's not Metal Gear. Unless you want to play the little guy walking around during the cutscene. <laughs> that's still the funniest that thing I've hilarious. ever seen. <laughs> the, the drive a little mini cart during a cutscene. Yeah. So, what, so what, like, what, was your, what was your big deal about it? Because I know you, didn't, you weren't that appreciative of it. I, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Like, I went back like three times because I knew that we were going to review it this week. I went and I played it uh, mm-hmm. for a couple hours and I put it down. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, ah, fuck this game. And then I, I picked it back up, and I was like, all right, I've been reading some good reviews. Yuzo yeah. says that he really got into the single player, and I picked it up for a while, and I put it down, and I even picked it up again. And it's just like there is something about the way that they present this world that even though I can go and say that is a decent game mechanic, and that is a good engine, and that's pretty, yeah. I cannot make myself care. Like, <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest thing. It's, it's very difficult for me to describe. I mean, there's just some games that don't hook you, yeah. and... There was something about th- this world where I'd be walking and I would do some sort of stealth thing and go up on some guy and as soon as I popped out of stealth, there would have been like three other dudes hanging yeah. out in this top thing that I hadn't seen that'd be shooting at me yeah. and I, I, never, I never really enjoyed, like the world just felt just kind of empty and meaningless to me that, that there would be, there would be really? the, the guys to fight but I don't know, it's... I think I see where you're coming from, actually, because I like to me the weakest part of the single player is the story. Yeah, like you don't have a reason to do what you're doing. There's, right, there's aliens, but yet you have to kill a bunch of normal guys first. Yeah, right, like a bunch of just regular you know marine guys, and then they explain why. But for the most part, I'm just like, whatever. I'm gonna kill some bitches. Yeah, but you know, seriously, like the whole framing aspect of it is just like whatever. And it doesn't feel to me like there was like a cohesive aesthetic. Like there wasn't there wasn't a, a, a <laughs> real world is really the, the yeah the real world's <laughs> fucking boring. Yeah, there's no. You're right. I mean, there's the, no style. The, yeah, there's no it. style. That's exactly huh. it. That and and huh. I, I guess I need something to get its hooks into me because you you and I both know that yeah. just when it comes to combat shooters. Yeah. That's not really my, my deal. What's, what's hilarious is that, like, to me, like, I take a game like Singularity, yeah. where there's a ton of style to that, that game. Mechanics? Eh, and and like, I fucking loved it. I, I, know, I know, but the mechanics were like, eh, and like, it didn't look that great no, compared, looked, to, compared yeah. to Crisis. No, too, you're right, right. You're right. And I'm just like, wow, I could totally get into Crisis, because like, for me, I'm not big a story gamer, but you, you love That's Singularity. That's it. That's my thing. That, I mean, like, um, Singularity showed up on my, on my uh, it was like third best of the year. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yo, I remember that. I was just like, really? <laughs> yeah, you had the look on your face. I'm just like, what? fuck you. <laughs> no, tell me your real third game. Yeah, it's it's like, like, no. Fear 2, really? <laughs> game that's it, game? baby. But no, so she's like, and I, I, I totally understand it because there's going to be certain people that they need that element of style or sort of just being engrossed into it. Yeah. And this doesn't have it. This is Joe Blow, vanilla, I am paramilitary guy, I'm yeah. fighting some bad military guys, and then eventually some aliens. And there's, like, super badass combat. I mean, like, you know, I can't, I can't fault a lot of the mechanics. Like, they made the suit really... Like, I played the game on the 360. Mm. They made the suit super easy to use. Oh, I yeah. really enjoyed, like, switching back and yep. forth between... Like, every little piece of the game, I was just like, okay, you know, you did combat pretty good, you did stealth pretty good, you did this pretty good, I just... Pretty well. But yeah. I just... I. 
I just... It's hard to care. I cannot care. <laughs> I couldn't make myself care. So I think it's one of those games where, like, if you're, you're really into to mechanics and you're yeah. really into, like, you know, pretty shooters, like this game, it's, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed myself for the three or four hours. I, I'm actually somewhat interested in going back. Cool. As opposed well to before, it's like, eh, I'm kind of done. Yeah. Uh, seeing what, but, but if you're a story gamer or you need ambiance, you need style, like... It's not there. There's none of that there yeah. in this game. So... Yep. Which I, I was surprised, because I seriously was not... I was surprised, too. Like, I was talking to you online, you're like, I'm really kind of liking it. <laughs> I was just, playing, just like, why am I having fun? It's like, <laughs> this, is, this is weird. Yeah, you're, you're, a big, you're a big shooter guy at heart. Like, the, the mechanics yeah. of shooters are enough to tickle you, yeah. I think. And, um, and they, they did the whole thing where you shoot people, they fall. Yeah, no, right? they... Like, some of the issues that I have with a lot of these shooters, I'm just like, fucking die. Like, yeah. Uh, they took care of all that. Yeah, so. no, it felt tight. I, I, yeah. I really, I definitely it appreciated that. like when you shot people, you saw blood, and you're like, yeah, like, I actually... F- no? Mm. You don't, yeah, you don't care about that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that is that game. Uh, so next up was the Nintendo 3DS, oh, I bring it which up. yet again you have forgotten to carry it's on set. Ah, fuck it. All right, so go. go oh, my God, he's going talk. on set. I don't know talk. what to do. Talk. I don't know what to do. It's just me and you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so Nintendo 3DS. Yes. So Here we go. I, I didn't get to play this until today. Uh, and... I gotta say, it wasn't what I expected. I know, wasn't it? Like, I totally was just like, okay, if we're just gonna show you games, you're not gonna be interested, right? But try the mini games. So the mini games uh, are all about um, what do you? Is uh, alter, uh, altered there's, there's a word for well, it. Well, like, it's, it's uh, uh, augmented reality. Augmented reality, like yes. it, it is. It is taking the very responsive, uh, relatively high definition yeah. camera on the back, and of there's it. two of them in the back. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but there's two on the the front facing, so that you're actually taking a 3D image. Yeah. Of what you're seeing behind. Which ends up giving you some unbelievably cool mechanics. Like, uh, there's, this, there's this one mode. Is, was that a game with the, the card? Raiders? Or yeah. Which one? Oh, I'm just cards. saying, like... So, well, when you, when you, so, basically, when you get the 3DS, you get these AR cards. Um, and I can kind of show you where they are. But here's a little, like, basically, a question mark or a little guys, a Pikmin guys. And they, this is... I don't know if you... Did you try these? Uh, I just tried the question mark. Okay, so these, you actually put them down uh, on the ground. And then you look at them, and all of a sudden, they pop up. And they start animating. They start doing random stuff. And I gotta say, it is really, really well done. Like, oh, yeah. so you throw down the question mark. There's a, there's a series of games based on this. So it figures out where the question mark is to get a frame of reference. Yes. And then it starts doing these games where it's like, hey, you're doing archery, and you're like, okay, I kind of get it. It's archery. But then you realize they're like, hit this target over here, and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. This this. Oh my God! I can go. Around, I yeah. can come around behind. Like you can actually put this down on the table and walk in a circle around it, yeah. and you're actually—I mean, like all of a sudden your brain just kind of snaps, and you're like, this whole world becomes like this is the window into the augmented reality that is yeah. everything. And and the whole thing, like you're playing the face readers, which we'll talk about a little bit more. But like I was watching you play, and you're like, oh yeah, I guess this is interesting. Oh, that's funny. I was just like, what? What? And you go. You go, like, I had to get up. Yeah, you had I had to, to actually get up, up because because it was one of these things where you're you're shooting and then I'm in my kitchen. Like yeah. you're looking through the screen, you're in my kitchen, and there's faces floating around. You're shooting them, and they're floating behind you, yep. and you're like doing like this, and it feels fantastic. It feels like really good. Yeah. the refresh rate is really quick. Of uh, the things look like they're in the world. Like there's this one part that absolutely killed me. There was uh, when you're shooting targets, the card is here, and you watch the card falls through the table. Like yeah. it's on my kitchen table, it falls through the table, and then there was a target at the bottom, and I stood up yep. and <laughs> shot down the hole. And you have to. And you it have feels to, like 3D. It feels perfectly like 3D. Like yeah. it actually, you have to kind of remind yourself that there's a solid table here because when you're looking through the 3DS, everything changes. Yeah. And like, there's a couple of games like the games I'm not, we're actually you know going to review, but there's Steel Diver, which I played at uh, at G, 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 uh, GDC, where the whole idea is you're you're in a sub with a periscope, and you know you go like this, right? Yeah. But here you're going like this, and then you're pointing around. And shooting. Was it fun? Yeah. It was, well, the thing is, like, I could see where it's going. I wouldn't play it like for hours, right. but it was novel. Yeah. Right. And like this too, like all these games here, for the most part, I played it once for about 30 minutes, and I haven't touched it again. Yeah. Right. I mean, because because a lot of these are novel, but I am so excited of what game developers yes. are going to do with this and, and do some interesting stuff. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it, it this it, honest honest to God, playing with it for 20 minutes, did it tell you? It was one of those things where I'm like, oh, I should have I shouldn't have doubted because Nintendo doesn't they're not dummies. Like. No. They they may have released like a DS XL and DSI whatever and it's like those were pretty much iterations on the same concept but they put the company behind this the so like 3DS yes. is the new shit you guys are all gonna buy it I'm like bitch I don't care about a little yeah. 3D screen 
wrong. Now, it's the cameras. Yeah. It's the cameras, and it's it's going to be the the gyros and the cameras. That's going to be that's going to be where the good games are at. And, and I think that's just a small part of it. So a couple of the key pieces of technology in this thing yeah. is the street pass. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, with the with it being off and you. So it's off and you walk around. So the whole idea. Remember where we were uh, walking around packs, getting new maps in yep. Dragon Quest Nine. This is built into the platform, so every game takes advantage of it. <sighs> Can. <sighs> I, I so it's one of those things where I'm like. That sounds fucking badass if I lived in Japan. I'm just saying, there, maybe you have to walk around some elementary schools. <laughs> 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 I'm not really to this. But like, or to malls, or, or yeah. hopefully somewhere where people, like adult, the thing is, adults that are not you and me, yeah. they're not going to carry this. Oh, hell no. They are not going to carry this. On the way. other hand, you, uh, you take Hanzo out in the city a lot. You live yes. in, a, in an urban center where you can go and you, you, know, you can take him down to the coffee shop or the burrito shop, do whatever. I, don't, I, I honestly don't think even there you'll, you'll see people. You have to be elementary school. <laughs> Maybe high schools or junior highs. Or packs. Or packs yeah. or malls. Or, you know, basically somewhere. I'm not, you know, obviously not advocating. I mean, you have to be around people with DSs that are not afraid to carry it with them. I, right? it, it, is, it is probably the most heartbreaking thing about, about every culture that is not Japanese. I know. Like, it is so cool, and it's, it's almost impossible for me to describe how cool it is for you guys. Like, it, yeah. for us to go to Yodobashi Kam or someplace in Tokyo and see grown-ass adults like yeah. we are just dicking around with games, it's like, it's so cool. It's, it, they, they, <sighs> they, they don't have any shame about it. They don't yeah. feel like they're too old to do it. It's just yeah. like, this is an enjoyable pastime, yeah. just like some 50-year-old dude watching baseball on TV. Yeah, it's not paper. different. It's really, yeah, it's, it's, so, God like, I, I'm in a cafe in San Francisco, and I whip out my 3DS, and I'm, like, looking around, and I'm like, I feel you weird. You feel a little weird? I feel weird. I shouldn't be. And I, yeah. I said, fuck it. I spent there an hour playing anyways. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know, I shouldn't. <laughs> it's like every couple of minutes you look up, someone's looking at you like, fuck you. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. I got a wife and kid. I don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, but, but it just makes me sad because the thing is I like. got sex on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have very often, but. Um, but I remember <laughs> it vividly. Yes. Uh, but but no, like when we were at PAX, the whole idea of we were just walking by the thing and some guy says, hey, man, I got the new map. Right? It's just... I, I, it was the greatest thing right? ever. It was, just it was the greatest. Awesome. Like once you and I discovered Dragon Quest Nine, it's like I hardly remember the rest of PAX because uh, yeah. it'd be like something cool would be happening and we'd be like, dude, I got three more maps. <laughs> I got three more maps. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He was going around and it's just like you're just picking up everything from people and you imagine with this... It's going to be a whole new level. Like every you game. said, if, that, if that's in every game, yep. I'm assuming that if you've played six games, <coughs> you don't have to have the games in. I'm assuming you'd probably be able to, to find other people that were playing those, and it should be able to communicate with your game. I hope so. I mean, I, again, I don't know for certain, but I'm know. hoping so. Yeah. But there's this other thing of also, like, street coins. So I don't know if you know the Pokewalker. No. Yes, so I've the heard about it. Right, you can walk with a pedometer, and you yeah. get points, which you then use in game. It's built into here, so when you so it actually gives you a reason. This is where my gl- small glimmer of hope that this is actually going to be popular. Yeah. is that if you keep, leave it in sleep mode and then carry it around, which is what I've been doing lately, uh, you get coins. Ha! And those coins are, are currency now that you can use across many games. Well, you're saying it's a centralized currency? It's in, I can show you right Yeah, Basically here, it's just like, and it, it's a built-in pedometer in this. Oh, my so God. So now there's a reason for me to oh do it. Oh, my God. So of they're course, basically just built, built fitness into yes. an entire gaming platform. Yes. They're like, if you'll just walk your fat ass somewhere, yes. we will give you coins in every game. Yeah, and you could use to buy various things. Unfortunately, it's basically me to my car, Yeah. my car to work. Yeah. So I get maybe like a coin. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like really you open up, it gives to. you a coin, and there's this little sad face. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, no. And it's just like, and it's just you, and then like the 3D belly just oh, goes out. Yes. <laughs> For the most part. But how cool, okay, so. So that's pretty cool, right? This, I mean, like, from last week to now, this is, this is a big, like, I, you have to pick up one of these DSs and dick around with it, and you'd be like, oh, I get it. I yes. get it now. Unfortunately, so like here, like here. So I'm not going to get one right now. I have the DS, and I have the game, which I'm going to talk about next. I have played maybe three hours <laughs> yeah. of, of anything that requires... Th- everything else has been just normal three, uh, DS games. So honestly, this is not worth getting yet right. until probably maybe Ocarina of Time comes out because then you'll probably play that and it's going to be 3D. Yeah. Definitely when Rocket Slime... Like, Fuck yes. Red Rocket Slime, you are totally getting that. Oh my God, of course. Because I, I know they're going to build in some oh, sort yeah. of like collectible shit with like, oh, yeah. people walking around. Oh. And you are going to have it... In your pocket, yes. and you're going to walk to lunch every day. Yes. You're going to ride your bike and put it... You, you know what you're going to do? You're going to get a, a device that... The shakes it. <laughs> yes. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tape it to my cat. <laughs> <laughs> you come back, you're like, fucking 30 coins, motherfucker. The poor cat's Go. like, meow. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm t- 
totally doing that. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Sorry, PETA. Oh. Fuck you. So that's so, the BDS. I'd say, uh, wait. Yeah. Not right now. It's not thumbs down, but it's not by now. Yeah. Definitely. But I'm way more impressed than I was before. Yes. Uh, so next up is the Ghost Recon Shadow Wars 3DS yeah. only, so I haven't gotten to play it yet. Yeah, so I've been playing a bit of it. Um, I didn't want to talk too much about it, but basically, if you're going to get it or if you've already bought it, this is the game to get. Really? Pretty much. Um, and again, it's not a system seller, yeah. but it's pretty good. So it's uh, apparently, I, I, and again, I, I may be wrong on this, but I think the guy that made the original XCOM mm-hmm. worked on this. Mm-hmm. Right? And it mm-hmm. feels like XCOM, where you're going, it's all turn-based, yeah. you're going, you're getting new weapons. For some reason, it's like Tom Clancy, and they, they added some crap, but I'm just yeah. like... Uh, like, uh, put that fucking stamp on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just playing, like, this really feels like XCOM, and it yeah. feels pretty good, because it's one of those things where they really designed it around the DS, where you just play a couple of rounds, you do some other stuff. Nice, okay. Um, beyond that, there's not much to say. It's not amazing. Don't but I mean, is it, is, it, is it kind of like the... The, the XCOM style, like you're in a room, it's turn-based, you're trying to get to the right angle to shoot people, sort of um, like, well, yeah, there's some stealthy... Di- well, the, the, well, no, there's elements of, you know, like, uh, of line of sight, okay. there's elements of, you know, doing things. The only thing about this that kind of annoys me a little bit is that, like, at least in the first few levels, there's a lot of guys to kill, yeah. and you have to watch them move. Oh. Um, so I have to go, there's probably options to make them move very fast uh, or something okay. like that, I haven't done it, but I'm so, just playing almost like, seriously? Okay, so what, so what was 3D about that game? Well, well, that's the thing, like, the levels are multi-level... So you see the guys; they stand up a little bit. Okay. You kind of see deeper in. Okay. But again, it's not like. But is there is there any is there any of this is there any no, gyro? No, so it's no. all just it's just so it's, totally. It's static. a good game. Yeah. Uh, but it's not doesn't really take advantage of the 3ds. Right. And honestly, if you take a look at the games that do take advantage of the 3ds, like Pilot Wings, uh, Super Street Fighter, a little bit to yeah. some extent, like they're okay, but I. They're forty bucks. Well. So to me, like one, of, this is a, more of a commentary on 3ds, but like I think Nintendo's screwed. Really. Well, think about it, right? You have the this, which yeah. is uh, two hundred and fifty dollars. Right. Games are forty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Which is what they were for the DS, wasn't well, it? Yeah. Sure. Sure. I have my iPhone and iPad or Android. Ah. Uh, two dollars. Yeah. Three dollars. Yeah. The game is changing. The market has changed. And yeah. like, you look at Sony with their NGP, and you look at that, and like, at some point, all the game developers are going to start saying, like, "Hey, we can make some real games on this." Yeah. Well, I mean, a top-notch, multi-thousand-dollar title is like ten dollars. Yes. Like that is, I mean. Like the the games that that you really dig into your pocket for on iPad or iPhone is ten bucks. Yeah, and the shit has changed. And you're like, and the weird thing is, I was reading an article about this today. Yeah, uh, uh, Angry Birds. Yes. Angry Birds cost a hundred and sixty thousand dollars to make. It has made seventy million. Seventy. Seventy oh million. God. So I mean, so I mean, you get granted, that's that's, that that's an exceptional case. Like you yeah. know, uh, you're probably going to get that. cut the rope. Yeah. Ninja Fruit Ninja, like those right. have probably made multi millions. Yeah. I'm sure. So I mean, you're still going to have the eighty to ninety percent of people that don't even break even. They lose their shorts, but yeah. that's that's the whole world. That's everything. That's write a book, whatever. Yeah. But the the barrier to entry has become such that you and I can play you know seven games for the price of one DS game. I know, and if one out of seven is good. You've, you've won. I'm spending, like, if you look at the launch titles for DS, I would not spend 40 I would be very disappointed if I spent $40 on right. any of those. And I'm thinking, I'm like, man, because I was actually at GDC where um, Satori Iwata, the CEO, was yep. talking. He was saying his whole, his whole spiel was, we like to make quality experiences. You now, I understand blah, 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 you know, $2 here. So that, that's the thing. But we want to stress that developers should make, spend time to make quality experiences. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> They're going to make quality experiences that for are $2 the, yeah. and sell millions of dollars worth it's of It's true. Them. It's right? true, yeah, and 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 you know the the, uh, the user base is getting to be so much larger on these smartphones and these other platforms that. So here's the thing, the thing that that, that gets me is that I'm not convinced it's better for us as gamers that this is happening What's because that? I I am I am unconvinced I of the phone as a platform. That I, scares me. I want my buttons and I want my camera and I want my analog stick and I want these things that make a real game a game. I think Angry Birds sucks dick. It, it does. It fucking sucks. But Plants vs. Zombies is pretty freaking awesome. It is. There's, there's, there's like, You're right. You know, Infinity You're right. Blade was decent. Decent. It was decent because I was stuck on a phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but I'm just saying that I, 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 am, I, I understand that as a casual market, the phone is doing really awesome <clears throat> things, but I, I am unconvinced that this is good for us as gamers. So, you, you, so here's, here's my thing, right? At some point, right, somebody's going to make a phone, an Android phone or something like that, with a real controller. And they do. Somebody, I mean, they got, they're got. they going to have the slide out, you know, like the yeah, little, they're going to have some pop-outs that's going to have an, an eight-way pad. Yeah, or somebody's going to make it a Bluetooth attachment yeah. that is the one to use that yeah. everybody, even iPhone, and everything will use. At mm. some point, the moment you have the control system down, what's to stop you? 
Nothing. Nothing. No, I agree with you. I, I, I really like that's the thing that bugs me about it is, is the is the touch interface because I feel like any sort of subtle, interesting, challenging gaming yeah. is is going to require some sort of control scheme with shoulder buttons and and like I want more interfaces than it's going to happen though. I think. It I mean, will because like if you think about it, right? The phone is a platform. Yeah. They make new phones every three, six to nine months. That's tr- you. That's right? that's, a, that's a really good point. Someone's is that they do can it. they can just they, it's like it's like evolution and fast forward. Like you can yeah. just watch, and someone's going to make some phone with an eight way pad yep. that some Android apps are going to take advantage of. It's going to sell like hotcakes, and then everybody's going to have that. Who shit. knows? The Sony phone might do well, and that control is okay. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, it's not. That's it's true. not you know the PSP, but it's like it's decent. So that's true. anyhow, uh, I think 3ds. Um, keep an eye on it, but. I'm worried this is going to be a tombstone. It might be their last one. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. Did you hear three uh, at, at E3? No, what? Playable next Wii. The, 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 no way. Yes, so they, they announced it. They, they finally... Oh, so shit. Nintendo admitted it. They came out this yes. week and they're like, it is coming out. Uh, I, I think Cafe, that it was... Con- right? uh, yeah, and I think okay. that it was confirmed 1080p. Like, yeah, better. It I fucking mean, better a, be. A fucking course. Like, yeah. But, but, but and, and there was other rumors about what's inside. Did they put two E's together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's just like a cable yeah. between. They're like, we've announced the cable that you put between the backs of two Wii's, and then you can have the Wii Plus, which is four. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I, you know, so they've already announced. They, they've announced that cool. that at E3 they're going to show it. It's going to be playable. It's going to be their their announcement. They've <sighs> they've now leapfrog, leapfrogged Microsoft and Sony into announcing the next platform. Wait, how do you leapfrog Sony if they're making something that's as powerful as a 360 and the PS3? And that's the problem, right? Catching it's up. Their, they're not you're right. Leapfrog. You're right. It's their parody platform, right? Yeah. So they'd be like, "Hey guys, we're here," and Microsoft's just like, "Ah, what? Huh? Yeah." Uh, but yeah, so did they say anything about like the details of what's no. inside or anything? No, it's like all it's all top secret. Uh, there's, Why are you hearing stuff about like the control is an actual touchpad? Yeah, they said that the, the, there's rumors that there's going to be a touchpad or just a, a simple screen on the controller. Oh uh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo, cool. it, it's it, they're they're in really interesting territory right now. I mean, like this is this is kind of like make or break where where Microsoft and Sony have kind of they're they're, they're hedging, waiting. They're waiting. They're yeah. they're gonna they're gonna see where this shit goes. But <laughs> Nintendo's apparently diving right in. They're like, fuck it. It's been five <laughs> years since we made the Wii. We're on. Like, well, we're gonna... they were also a little bit. I mean, there was, honestly, like this feels like a catch up to the 360 and all yeah. that. So like. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm I'm not really clamoring for Mario Super Mario to look better. No, I, I was clamoring for every other game on the Wii to look better, <laughs> not Mario. But I I mean, you know, honestly, Nintendo they'll they release a new platform and that will be their excuse to give me more of the same games. Yeah, and that's what makes me happy. Pretty much. Like I don't give a shit. That it, like it, that's actually more of what I'm excited about. They're like, oh, we release a new platform. Like I don't even care. Yeah. What the platform well, yeah. is like. You don't care about this until Rocket Slime appears on exactly. it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So all I care about is, cool, there's going to be a new Paper Mario, or there's yes. going to be a new Mario Galaxy, there's going to be a new... Like, that's what I care about. You could just release those. You could release Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 3 mm-hmm. on, the, on the Wii, and I would buy that shit. Like, yeah. I, I like that they have the most polished, beautiful, first-person developed games, first-party developed games yeah. out there. Well, the, the, nobody will replace Nintendo. They no. know how to make video games well, and they'll only make them on their own platform. That's right. So uh, it's definitely one to get. Um, but I think the kind of the, the adage just works, right? Wait till a game you care about shows yeah. up. Yeah, and that is not me yet. I not did yet. dig playing with that, though. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, so next up is third birthday on the PSP. Yeah, so it's been a while since <clears> I broke <throat> out my PSP. Yes, me uh, too. <laughs> I had to like chase um, spiders off of it. I'm like, ah! Like, no way! Did you open up like the UMD case and you like like just dust? Yeah, just flew dust out. flew everywhere. Um, so this it was funny that I kept like last week. I'm just like, this looks just like Paris ID, which <laughs> is just like what we said with the Strider oh, one. It was like we keep saying this like, it looks like a fucking rip off of Strider. I was like, yeah, this looks like Paris ID. Turns out it's the third Paris ID game. Yep, everything old is new again. Yes. Um, so this is, I think, done by the original guy, probably, or something know. like that. Um, and uh, I didn't play the original Paris ID, so I had no idea what I was going into. Right. Uh, did the original Paris ID have the whole body jumping? No, thing? this is okay. all new. This okay. is all new, and, and, the, and the super uh, uh, hardcore RPG element of the, the matrix of your abilities that yeah. you're juggling, that's all new, too. Oh, okay. So, so is that kind of like the Final Fantasy style of... of yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So this is, this is uh, uh, the, whole, the whole kind of conceit of this game is that Shit, bad shit happens. Yeah. New York is fucked. Aliens are coming in, but you are uh, this girl that can go around and at at, a, at any moment you can just hop between other human beings' bodies. You pick up all their abilities. You pick up whatever weapons they've got on them, mm-hmm. uh, and then in the heat of a battle, wherever all the enemies are, you can just be like 
lightning quick popping between people, popping into helicopters, popping in the, back into the ground, and and that is the major majority of the gameplay. And there's a big, big strategic element to yeah. it as well. It's like, like you would actually want to get it so that you can uh, do it in crossfire. If you run out of ammo, you go into the next guy. Right. Uh, so it's pretty interesting what they did. Um, for me, I, it almost felt a little too hectic. Huh. Because, you know, I'd be fighting and be just like, okay, there's some guy, flip. So, I mean, there was, like, I felt some need. The only time I really felt the need to switch to somebody else when I ran out of ammo. Uh, a lot yeah. of times. Yeah, I could see uh, that. And, 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 yeah, I mean, that's, that's my general feeling on the gameplay. It just didn't really pull me in. I mean, huh. it felt like a pretty well done game. Yeah. But the gameplay itself was just like, yeah. So I was, I, was actually, I was actually really enjoying it. So yeah. I, I, uh, I had a good time with the, with the popping around. Like I actually enjoyed the dyna- dynamism of it. Is mm-hmm. that you know, you'd, be, you'd be kind of bouncing around. And, and I'd even be doing the stuff where it's like you pop to the next guy, make sure he gets behind. Like <clears throat> I'd be setting up the fields of fire where oh, it's like yeah, yeah. I'd the position each body that. because when you'd pop out of them, they would continue to act intelligently. So yes. you'd, you'd kind of be you know, almost moving pieces of a machine around to, to make stuff work. Like the only part that I hated was the boss fights. Yeah, boss fights, boss were, fights were, were ridiculous. They were they had way too many health points. I yeah, think, for considering how much ammo you had. Yeah. So at the end of the ver- the first boss battle, I was fighting. You know, the one where you're in the, the amphitheater. Yeah. The theater. Like I would have my missiles and I'd miss because I couldn't really figure out the thing. <laughs> and I hit him once and I'm like, wow, that took off a lot of health. Yeah. I'm like, I, I got one left. And then I switched to the guy with the machine <laughs> like, gun. I'd be ping, like, ping, 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 ping. ping. Eh. Yeah. The thing, they did this annoying thing with the boss battle, which I hate, where it's like. Green health bar, knock it down. Now it's yellow, knock it down. Now it's red, yeah. now you knock it down. Yeah, fuckers. Yeah, seriously, as, as, as annoying. Um, but uh, but I was I was actually really getting into the. There was something about it that for for me evoked this old Square Enix game feel, like yeah. you know, just it it had this this polish in the world and. Mm-hmm. As much as you wanted to dig into stuff and talk to people and dig into menus, there was backstory aplenty. You could do all sorts of character customization in a way that wasn't annoying. Like, I really mm-hmm. liked that I was picking up things. And then, I forget what they called them. There was, like, some sort of abilities that could be combined to accent other abilities. Yeah, yeah. So you kind of had this grid of abilities that you could balance. And the more I played, the more that became necessary, where, where mm-hmm. the abilities that you were getting from that became very crucial in battle mm-hmm. uh, as the enemies would get more and more difficult and not, some not of them boss battle difficult though, hopefully. No, no, but I mean like the, the, and the the normal everyday enemies I actually found to be a lot more enjoyable and there'd be some yeah. of them that like couldn't be damaged by certain types of weapons and you would have had to power up different things like so I I was I was definitely getting into it. Yeah, yeah, to me I think it was more, more kind of boiled down to the controls. The controls were again like you kind of use the analog stick. Did you, like the You can lock. Yes. That saved it. If you, if you could Did lock like, that game would Oh, I would have I would have I would have put it down in like 20 minutes if they had cuz I mean, you and I have played some some of those games where it's just like yeah it's really easy to steer with the analog stick it's like well basically what you use you yeah yeah exactly <laughs> but I mean yeah this one was the cool thing was is that it was snap to aim and it was also snap to switch bodies where yeah. it's like you snap to the next person and you're like Boom, 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 and it's just like person, 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 person. So you could just pop. Oh, between. I didn't even see that. Yes, so you I, could. I'd still have to look at the guy to switch. But you but, couldn't lock to switch. Well, Once yeah, you had, locked. As, you no, no, you wouldn't to, have to look. You could, you could just hit the next switch button and it would just pop to the oh, next dude. Oh, so I guess I always wanted to pick that particular uh, guy to yeah, switch. So yeah, 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 you're right. But like, I could just thumb through three different guys really quickly uh, to switch okay. to, which is which is pretty cool. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I mean, um, I, I'm not gonna give it a thumb yeah. up because it just wasn't my game. Right. But so uh, I, I I enjoyed it a lot actually. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, this may have coincided with the fact that uh, I have been out of my house. For things like I've been you know, like I've had to travel on trains for work and some other stuff. So I mean, like yet again, not so much a game that I would play on my couch, but that's true of almost every mobile game. Uh, but I've had opportunity to play this, and and I would say if you're going to be on a plane or a train or something, like it's it's really fun. Yeah, and I've been playing this on my couch, so take that as you will. Yes. And then last up, Woo! Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Yes, we I gave. Hecka thumbs up to this uh, on, the, on the DS. Yeah, uh, it was, I think, the mobile game of the year. Yeah, it uh, might have the been. Year. Not last year, but the year before, I think. Yeah. Um, might have been last year. It was the last year? I don't remember. Actually, I don't know. No, I think it might have been the year before. But um, this game was really uh, awesome. It took a lot of the elements of the match three, yep. but then added this RPG element, then added this my magic element of getting resources, and yeah. then added a you know a, a epic story spanning five different types of people and intertwining. So it's amazing. Yeah. Awesome game. And then they took it uh, mm-hmm. and they put it on 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 uh, Xbox and PS3, ramped the hell out of the graphics, oh, just made it beautiful. just made it pop beautiful. and shine. Uh, you know, just it, they obviously had fun with it. Like the yeah. game, it from what I remember, 
Like, I thought that this was just a straight port, but either my memory is like fucking it. terrible yeah. or there was different stuff in this. Because I remember, like, like starting off having to go around a castle and there was some other... the second guy. Oh, so maybe, I I'd, maybe I'd forgotten the first guy. Well, the first guy was all forest. Yeah. A girl, rather. It's yeah. all forest. I still didn't remember the climbing the tree thing. I really well, see, that's the thing. I think they may have changed because I don't remember the climbing the tree. That's what I'm saying. I totally remember going after bounties of yeah, people and then doing tree ants and all this other yeah. stuff. And then you go to the guy, the, the, the knight guy and then walk around the, one of the castles. Yeah. I think I stopped after that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I think they did change stuff around probably because it said like, oh, we're going to have to draw some shit. Let's just draw <laughs> a really <laughs> big tree. Let's make it better. Let's yeah. make it. We don't have to copy it. Yeah. So, you know, the, the whole thing is that, that you're collecting uh, the different, so you've got your regular guys, you'll have like a bear and a fairy and a something else, and then yeah. you've got like your super mega ultra guys. Well, if you have your medium class guys, which yeah. your priests and your bears and right. your unicorns or whatever, and then you have your uber, uber badass guys, mm-hmm. which are your dragons and, and treants, basically. Yeah. Um, and then you, the whole point is you, you need to power those guys up by putting the same color behind them. Right. So it's all about pulling them down, pulling them up, and getting all the different uh, chains going. Yeah. And 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 the funny thing is, when those guys die in battle, they're gone. I know. So you got to go save up, and you got to buy new ones. Um, and yep. one really cool thing about this is, it's not just kill all the other dudes. Mm-hmm. There'll be these little levels. Like there was one where these guys are sawing down the tree, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's like they'll move every level, but you actually have to to kill a bunch of enemies to get through to them. So the enemy has no health. There's no hit points. There's no yeah. you could you could miss those guys on the tree a yep. hundred times. Doesn't and matter. It doesn't matter. So it's just like I, I really enjoyed that and switching you have, like, up. Time, did you have a time component or something wacky like that? Well, you have health. <laughs> they'll fucking kill you. Oh yeah. Right. right like yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like it, they'll just keep wearing down your health until you die. Well, oh. there might have been time too. I don't. I don't remember. But, but I mean, it's, the, the variety of different things. Like a lot of times, you are just killing somebody. Like you're, but you're saying like one of them was was really funny. Was like you had a guy on their side which you couldn't hit. Yeah, that guy's a pussy. Right. That guy made me so mad. I know. It's just like you're looking. You're like no, and then he moves. I know, he moves right. It's just like I've charged up this like triple fucking you know Dragon just like shit. it was like a rape chain you know it was just like it was just like totally set up and the guy's all the way over here and then this is like it was like three two one he's like ah jumps in front of like save you. splat dick and then game over or not game yeah. over you have to yeah, do the again. level over um but yeah no it's just like a lot of different things um it, it just go go back and watch the review and you can find out how awesome the gameplay yeah. is but this is on uh both xp uh, psn xp Lite, and it's multiplayer yeah uh and it looks great and yeah. I think it's 15. My, my complaint, I believe that I had this about the first one, was that I still think that they should have some sort of World of Warcraft style, like, warning, like, color scheme where it's like, hey, just so you know, this guy is seven that. levels they higher than it. you. What? They fixed it. I totally That's didn't notice it. So, so one thing is, like, you, say, you see what your level is. Yeah. You see what its level is. Before you, you start can, the fight. Yeah, and then you can say, would you like to flee? But you don't always have that. I had a couple times where it's like... like really? Because like, yeah. every single time, even boss fights, I could flee. How about the ambushes? So the ambushes, you have this ability to push had, a button I had and escape person. from the ambush, but you can't look at them and see if you should be running before the ambush starts or not. Well, I think like the there, only was, ambush there was a bunch I of had, fights where I couldn't flee. That's all I'm amb- saying. Even, even in this one? Yeah. Not the original one. Yeah, this one. Because this one, I... There's a couple of There was at least three fights where I'm like, level eight, and I'm level five, and yeah. I'm like, I fled. Yeah. So I never found it. Huh, interesting. I, okay. so this, this was the ones where it's like you'd go up, like some dude would be guarding a treasure box, or you'd be going yeah. back, and there'd, there'd be like an ambush or something. Like there was just these moments where it was, I just got a little bit irritated where I felt like, you know, you should have let me, you know, back out of I something. I think also, like, I got to the point now where I looked to see his chest and I always save. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I also didn't yeah, summon dogs. So this is smart. one of those things you can but go. I mean that's a that's a nit. That's nothing. Oh, I mean yeah. like this game this game is so 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 fun. Yeah, it is it is amazing and uh definitely try I haven't tried that multiplayer yet. I would like to I haven't either at some point. Um but it's awesome. Yep. Boop. Uh hey, guess what? Oh what there's two games coming me? out that I don't give a shit. So first up is Motorstorm Apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, I remember the first Motorstorm playing on PS3 when it first came out. It was really pretty. Yes. That was about it. It was I played very pretty. it for about three hours, I'm like, yeah, hey, I get yeah. it. Which is funny. I mean, like, this is funny because I know that in May, like, this, this looks really weak, but I know in May we've got Brink, and I know in May we've got L.A. Noir, and I know in May there's, like, one or two other games. Yeah, they're, like, But they're all in, like, late. the badonkadonk of yeah. May, as it were, <laughs> and we're up here at the flat-chested sad part of May. Yes. Before, pre, pre, you know, badonkadonk. Yes. Undonked. Um, we are undonked <laughs> up here. So I, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we have this episode coming out pretty, you know, whatever, and then we have, the, like... I guess we have like one week where yeah. we're going to have to like figure out what we're going to do. Yeah. So I don't know. So I mean, Motorstorm Apocalypse, uh, don't really care very much, but I'll still try it. Um, I will try the next one because... I it, do. I mean, I like, I like racing games where you fuck people up. This one you can kind of fuck people up, but there's no guns. Am I thinking the wrong game? Which is the one with the clown? 
<laughs> Dude, that's uh, that's uh, Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, that's oh, what I was thinking Oh, that's coming out. Of. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, that is right. coming out. Yeah, uh, Motorstorm. Yeah, you're right. There wasn't as much. Motorstorm was just racing, but yeah. it was just like kind of muddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a lot of ATVs. I like that, I like that that's the selling point. Like, it's like, what makes this game different? It's like, well... The, the mud physics were The mud really physics good. are fucking sick. <laughs> dude, seriously, this we game... hired these guys, these two dudes here, mud PhDs. <laughs> mud PhDs. Dude, they, went and, they went and studied in, in they Africa. They played in mud just, like all day long. Oh my god, it was, it in the rainforest. They just rolled around in mud for <laughs> six years. Threw at each other oh. and said, oh uh, yeah. Nobody knows mud like these motherfuckers. It, do, it looks awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Um, but the next one I will give a try because uh, pretty much whenever these map paths come out, then I end up playing Call of Duty for about two weeks with my brother and nice. like all their friends, and then I stop. Nice. So that's good. You know, that's 10 great. Bucks, 10, you know, yeah, two 10 weeks. bucks for two weeks is sick. That's, um, that's great. Because the, th- the annoying thing is, like, a lot of the old map packs, everybody's figured out all the exploits and all mm. the places to camp. Uh, the two weeks after map pack comes out... <laughs> Are the, the only time, time it's fun. <laughs> well, I mean, people haven't figured out how to like, just really be annoying at it. Yeah, no, so, that, I mean, that makes sense. It's just like it, that they throw you in, and it, now everybody's on equal footing. It's like exactly. you haven't had a chance to research. It's yes. just like... You're on your own, you yeah. know, pure skill. You, more or less. More or less. More or less. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I will give that a try. Yep. Um, you want to do voicemail? Uh, which one? Which one was League this? League of Legends or the other one? Uh, PAX? Yeah, yeah, let's do PAX. PAX. Okay. All right. Each week, we like to feature the new people on this show. If you uh, send in videos with uh, funny stories, reviews of games, or whatever, uh, or anything cool. Yep. And you can call so contact us toll free at 888-233-8480. Send your files to feedback at noobtube.com. Also, please post them as video responses on YouTube. We've gotten a couple great video responses lately, so so thank you guys for doing oh, that. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and please keep all videos under a minute if you want to be featured on the show. Don't forget the yow. Yo. So uh, this is unknown with yeah. some shiggity news about stuff going on. Hey, what's up, Toad and Yuzo and noobtubers out there? It's the 19th, and I've happened to notice that the uh, PAX West tickets have gone on sale. So, hmm, figured I'd let you guys know. Go have, a, go have a good time at PAX again this year. Yeah. Sweet. Get on that shit! Yeah! Make it happen, Cap'n! So, what, what is it this year? Is it late August or early September? I don't remember. remember? Okay. It's, it's <laughs> yes. Late, uh, yes. Late August-ish, early September-ish. Yes. So, they've posted um, the dates. They've, they've put the pick, tickets up. There is not a PAX... We've crossed the line. Like, there's no such thing now as a PAX that doesn't sell out. Yes. Shit will sell out. So, if you want to come, like, you know, we've we've sent you, we've showed you guys pictures. We've told you the tales. Weird stuff happens. People get shaved. People eat lots of McNuggets. Yes, people eat lots. <laughs> <laughs> we lots of big nuggets. We go and we annoy the crap out of every restaurant in town by yes. rolling in with thirty or forty noob tubers. And drink take over the outside, drink all their beer. Yeah. Pax is fun, guys. Pax is the bomb diggity. So come on out, go buy a ticket right now. Yeah, and also get your reservations for all the hotels. I think they're all open at this point. Yep. Um, if you need, I mean, like it's going to be awesome. I'm really hoping they uh, bring because they've been bringing all the big games. Yeah. For the most part. So if you really want to play the game, Pax is where shit happens now. It's yeah. just like. You know, they don't announce big games at GDC anymore. Like, you go to GDC, and it's just like a bunch of, you know, people talking about what engines to use or something, which is good if you're a game developer. But, I mean, you know, people don't announce stuff at E3. I mean, PAX is like, that's where you get to go and see all the new hotness. What's what any any Joe Schmo, like, you have to be part of the industry, go to E3. This one, you go there, you can actually play. The lines usually aren't that long. Right. Mm, Some of them are, but not too crazy. So you can actually play some stuff. Yeah. So go to PAX. Yes. Um, that's it. All right. That's our show for the week. Please check out our website, newtube.com, and participate in our forum by clicking on the community tab at the top of the page. Also, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Yes. We're so modern. Yes. If you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right up here. Click that shit. Also, give this video a big thumbs up by clicking right over here. But down. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. Our new engineering is done by range. Monkey meat. It's monkey meat. All right. Thanks for listening. See you next week. Route. Yeah.